from almost certain re-election to potentially five years in jail for blasphemy. The political landscape for Jakarta's Christian governor, Basuki Cahaya Purnama, better known as Ahok, has grown increasingly hostile. Ahok is of Chinese descent and is the Indonesian capital's first non-Muslim leader in half a century. He angered many when a video of him quoting the Quran during a campaign rally in September went viral. Someone actually found the video, uh, took an excerpt of the video and gave a transcript uh, which uh, omits a, a word which e makes it even more like a, uh, an insult towards the interpretation. Not, not, not towards the Quran, not towards the, uh, what's that called, uh, uh, Muslim group as a whole, but towards one interpretation, whether you can have or not uh, a Muslim political leader. The controversy has prompted hundreds of thousands to take to the streets in protest. Demi Allah, perang, perang, jangan buat main-main agama. Allah kutil bali, setan, bodoh, bodoh ahok. Polls last year showed him as the leading candidate for February's elections, thanks in part to his stance against corruption. This is not simply an attack against Ahok. This is not a religious issue. This is an attack against uh, cleaning up the bureaucracy at the national and at the local level. 90% of Indonesia's 250 million people are Muslim. The country, though, consists of hundreds of ethnic groups, and many consider this case a test of religious tolerance for the world's most populous Muslim-majority nation.